Hello! In this video, I'll show you how to use the AppMob Blueprint plugin for Unreal Engine to place ads on your app. To begin, go to the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Search for AppMob Blueprint and install the plugin. Now go to your favorite browser and go to console.firebase.google.com. Sign in with your Google account or create one if you don't have one already. Create a new project or use an existing one. Click on the gear icon on the navigation menu and select Project Settings. Scroll down until you see the Your App section. If you want to show ads on Android, click on the Android icon. If you want to show ads on iOS, click on the iOS icon. I'll show you how to set up my Android first and then I'll continue to iOS. For the package name, insert the package name for your app. Make sure it matches your app or your ads from Matma will not show and you will not be able to package your app. For testing, use this package name. Now click on Register App to start the project creation. On the next step, download a Google Services.json file and click Next. Keep clicking Next until you reach the last step. And click Continue to Console. Now that you have the Google Services.json file, you can begin adding ads to your app. Locate your Unreal Engine project and put the Google Services.json file into the root directory. Open the Unreal Engine project Then open the Plugins window. Search for AdMob Blueprint and add it to your project. Once you have the plugin installed, open the Project Settings window. and look for the Android menu on the left under Platforms. Configure your project for Android, then change the package name to match the one on Firebase. Now go to the plugin documentation for the setup and locate the metadata code snippet. Copy it and scroll until you find the Advanced APK Packaging section. In the Extra Settings for Application section, paste the code inside the text box. This app ID is a test ID, so you need to place your own approved AdMob app ID for your own ads. Now you're ready to show ads. Close the project settings window and open the level blueprint. Call event begin play. Then initialize Google Mobile ads. You just need to initialize it once so you should do it in the game instance. For the tutorial, I'll do it in the level blueprint. It has two callbacks. One will get executed when it was successful, and the other one will get executed when something failed. Click and hold on to them, 
then drag on the empty spot. Select Add Event, then Add Custom Event. To create banner ads, use the Create Banner Ad node. Then place the Ad Unit ID from your AdMob console. For testing, go to the documentation and use the Test Banner Ad Unit ID. For the size, you can select one from the list. Experiment with each to find the right size for your app. For the position, you can choose from the list as well. When you have your ad, you can use the Load Ad node to put ads into the banner. It also has two callbacks, one for success and one for fail. When ads are loaded in, use the Show Ad node to display the ad. There's only one callback, so we'll know if it failed. Now when you launch your app on the phone, the ads will show. The process is the same for interstitial ads. Instead of using the Create Banner Ad, use Create Interstitial Ad. Then put the Interstitial Ad Unit ID from AdMob. To test, go to the plugin documentation and copy the Ad Unit ID for the Interstitial Ad. One thing to note is that interstitial ads are one-time use only, so you'll need to create it again, load ad into it, and show it again for a new ad. Launch the app on the phone again and you should see a full page ad. Now for iOS, create a new iOS app on Firebase. Put the bundle ID for your app. Make sure it matches the bundle ID you have on Apple Developer and Unreal Engine. Click on Register App to start the app creation. Click on the download Google service info.plist file and then click Next. Click Next again until you reach the last step. Click on Continue the console to complete the process. Locate your Unreal Engine project and put the Google services info.plist file into the root directory. Now open your Unreal Engine project. Open the plugins window. Search for AdMob Blueprint and add it to your project. Once you have the plugin installed, open the Project Settings window and look for the iOS menu on the left under Platforms. Change the bundle ID to match the one in Apple Developer and Firebase.
then select your provisions and certificate. Scroll until you find the additional plist data section and go to the plugin documentation for the setup. Look for the example plist info and copy it. When going to production, use your own approved AdMob app ID for your own ads. Now you're ready to show ads on iOS. That's all for this video. If you find this helpful, give it a like, share, and subscribe.